Greetings. Um, this video will be, unfortunately, a critique of um, Henry David Marcus, uh, deceased. Um, he was uh, my substitute father, rescuing me from um, the destruction of my life by my own mother. And um, so obviously, if I call him, if I say he was my substitute father, that's um, saying a heck of a lot, right? Uh, however, uh, and so if you look at my other YouTubes on him, they are praising him, saying he's, you know, he's going to heaven and this and that. Um, however, he's Jewish, was Jewish, Zionist, and he um, uh, gave me firsthand experience and uh, perspective on the Jewish role in 9-11, the 9-11-2001 attack on our country, which, you know, we, we think of as <clears throat> in the traditional uh, uh, make-believe story about Osama bin Laden and Al-Qaeda doing it, which is impossible because it, it, the science doesn't add up there, um, I, I have to unfortunately de deviate into saying who I think did 9-11. It was done by the Illuminati, and I lose a lot of people if I say this, but on the other hand, I have a duty to tell the truth as I see it. Uh, extraterrestrial, half extraterrestrial shapeshifters, uh, the Rothschilds, the uh, Rockefellers, the British royal family, um, manipulated us with 9-11, with World War II, um, uh, wherein the Jews suffered a Holocaust of six million people. Um, but come to back to 9-11 to Henry David Marcus, he uh, manipulated, he, he was, uh, he knew that, that Israel had played a very prominent role, that the Arabs had played practically no role in the 9-11 event, and he deceived me about it, even though it was having a very devastating effect on Miami-Dade County's um, uh, gateway to Latin America economy. Imagine for, for a couple of years, you couldn't even, if we, we, we need uh, shipping to and from Latin America, right? That's, that's, our, the, that's how we make money, right? And you couldn't even get things to, to be shipped. Uh, and he's spinning these lies about uh, what happened on 9-11. And this, this went from for 14 years, you know, where I'm saying, woe is Miami because we uh, have um, all these post-9-11 restrictions on our economy and on immigration and on this and that and the other. And he's... Uh, deceiving me, pretending to sympathize, uh, but knowing all along that actually Israel uh, and unfortunately American Jews uh, were the ones who, among human beings, uh, the, the, the Illuminati extraterrestrial shapeshifters were the ones who did it. Uh, the Jews and Israel were collaborating with the enemy, what, however you want to put it. But they, they, had, they were functionaries helping to carry it out. Uh, and the Arabs had virtually no role. And he's lying about it this whole time. This is, this is um, and when, when he died, um, he, um, I, I forgave him because he actually, well, he did live through the, the Holocaust. He was in the United States, but he was born in 1932. And it was only upon his death that I, I realized and forgave him um, because who would want to have been a, a Jewish person in, even just in the United States while Hitler is murdering all these people, right? Um, the, the problem is that this is... Uh, second verse, same as the first, as far as what 
Netanyahu was doing. Uh, and like Henry would say, well, uh, let's not be too harsh on Bibi. Anything he does is usually made of gold and this isn't Bibi, right? Um, and uh, so anyway, so I go to the um, doctor today and uh, he had some signs on the wall about uh, COPD, which Henry suffered from. Henry in his, uh, you know, waning years, um, uh, you know, told me his medical problems and I did my best to be a, a son, uh, which I think, you know, I, I did have that role because he was estranged from his actual sons. Um, and so it, it's, it, it could be considered vicious what I'm doing right now. I, I have to be careful. Um, because he's not here to protect himself or to speak for himself. Uh, but anyway, so I, I'm in the doctor's office and I see this stuff about COPD, even uh, sleep apnea, which Henry suffered from. And then I say, do I want to, out of homage to Henry, uh, take pictures of, you know, how do you deal with COPD? How do you deal with sleep apnea? And... Uh, with what's going on with uh, uh, a, a yet another reenactment of the Holocaust by the Jews, by Israel, no thanks. You know, I, I, that's why I'm doing this video. It's like, uh, stay away from, get, uh, get away from me, Satan, right? Henry knew the whole time what was going down and lied to me about it. And, you know, like, would you or I do something like that? Let's say you, you think of your worst experience in life, and I think of mine. Would you inflict it on someone else? The United States didn't deserve that attack. Sorry to uh, let Henry down or Israel down or American Jews down. The United States didn't perpetrate the Holocaust, all right? So why punish us? You see what I'm saying? So... Um, while I was in the doctor's office, and I said, well, let's see now. Uh, one of my best friends in life, Ron Gray, Canadian, uh, not Jewish, uh, suffered from uh, sleep apnea, possibly from COPD, though I don't know for any, I don't have any solid evidence that he had COPD, but I, I took the pictures, but only out of respect for Ron Gray, not out of respect for Henry. And why am I even further, there's one more motive in my doing this video. I, um, I, I told another good friend of mine uh, that Henry admitted to me uh, what, when, when I finally caught on in 2016 to the fact that uh, uh, it was impossible for the Arabs to have brought down the Twin Towers and they had virtually zero role in the 9-11 attacks. Um, and, and the basic thing there is that the Twin Towers fell down at um, uh, free fall speed, right? It was like a controlled demolition and the, and the buildings just collapsed in, in about 10 seconds each. And the only way that's possible is if you melt the steel because you know steel just doesn't collapse, right? Uh, but uh, airplane jet fuel uh, and office fires caused by them can only generate a temperature, maximum temperature of 1,900 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas for a free fall collapse, you need to melt the steel, which requires a minimum temperature of 2,300 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's scientifically impossible for Osama bin Laden and Al-Qaeda to have brought down those towers. It just didn't happen. Um, and uh, then you go through some of the videos on it, like Chris Bolin does an excellent recap of this in solving 9-11, and it was American Jews who, who, who were the um, people on the ground, you know, uh, bringing down the towers. Um, anyways, but, but in the larger picture, I, I don't want to uh, be excessive in this. I, I again repeat, um, it was the Illuminati 
half extraterrestrials, the Satans of the Milky Way. They originate from the constellation Draco near the North Star. They have a, uh, um, their headquarters really, I think, is on the moon, our moon. Um, and you can tell what a, 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 rept, a, a an elect, extraterrestrial reptilian shapeshifter by vertical slit eye pupils. Vertical slit eye pupils. Uh, you know, when if you see someone, humans have round eye pupils, right? So if you see someone who has cat size, you know, with this vertical slit eye pupil, you know you ain't dealing with a human being. That's how, that's the tell uh, on uh, the Illuminati. Um, and I could go further into that, but, but there is proof. Um, and I, I don't want to start raising controversy about who, but you Google anyone you, you intensely dislike, who's a, uh, a international leader. Uh, let's just say one of my favorites is Fidel Castro of Cuba, right? He's dead now, but in his Wikipedia photo, he had vertical, vertical slit eye pupils, right? Or, or Putin or whomever you want to do, you know, and, um, and you'll see it's there. There's images, right? The vertical slit eye pupil. Um, there are videos. Uh, Joe Biden is perpetrating uh, this thing in, in Gaza right now. I, I get videos of him with vertical slit eye pupils. Um, going back then to, uh, and I'll close this out soon here, about Henry. Or any, so anyway, I told my friend that Henry admitted it to me. And then it's, it's, it's interesting because like he... It's painful. It, it, it makes me want to cry. But uh, how, how do I say then that he admitted it to me? There's a 19-minute video. I'll, I'll attach it to this one. I'll attach a bunch of videos, but I'll start with the 19-minute one. 19 minutes, right? And I said, Henry, watch this video, and it'll show you that the Arabs could not possibly have done the 9-11 attack. And he would never watch that. He tried. Uh, he, he died in... Uh, late December 2000, so for five long years, um, let's see, whatever it is, four or five long years, he uh, refused to watch a 19-minute video proving, and, and he said to me when, when I exposed this stuff to him, he said, uh, don't blame the Jews, the White House was in on it. Um, it, it was Bush. Um, but... Um, He never came clean, as I implied to my friend, but the, when, when you're dealing with someone in your family and, you know, they say, you say to them, did you murder the neighbor? Did you rape the girl down the street? If they refuse to answer you, uh, then you know they're guilty. I mean, I know. I mean, he, he, he manipulated, he, he lied, uh, about 9-11 for, from, ni from 2001 until I found out that he had been lying in, in uh, 2016. When, if, if someone's a member of your family, you know when they've effing committed a crime. And so did he come out and say, yes, the Jews did 9-11? Uh, no. But did he demonstrate that not only did they do it, that they had a prominent role, that is to say, in doing it, because there are other parties involved. The U.S. government got manipulated by the extraterrestrials. Uh, I mean, we, we don't want to cover the whole subject. It'd take forever. Uh, but the Jewish, uh, Israel and American Jews had a very significant supportive role. And um, getting back then to what I said to my friend about what, Henry David Marcus said, um, when you're around somebody constantly, uh, you know whether they are admitting guilt non-verbally. And uh, so he's guilty. He's guilty, all right? Now, you can forgive, we, I forgave him because of his life. 
But there's really no forgiving or lying, right? About this kind of thing. 